Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see rollback exception strategy. So what is the meaning of rollback exception strategy? So basically you are you have a flow. In that flow you are receiving lot of messages and you have to send to the multiple destination. The requirement is that it should reach to each and every destination. Okay, in case if, if it doesn't reach to one destination, you have to roll back. Suppose you have two databases, Oracle and SQL database. You have to insert that transaction or that message in both the databases. If suppose it got failed in the Oracle database, why? Okay, and it got inserted into the SQL database. So you have to define the strategy, rollback strategy, where you have to remove the data or you have to remove the entry from the SQL database also. So we will going to see that. So let me do one thing. I will create a file new. Mule project, I will say rollback mule app. Okay, for runtime, I will keep it mule server 3.8 only. Rest of the setting you can keep as it is and say finish. Okay, first thing what I will do, we need to add one dependency file because we will use going to use a database connector in this. So we have to add one SQL jar file. Go to the build path. Let me build path. Configure build path, add external jars, look for SQL GDBC file, okay, and say okay. Okay, so what we are going to do? So, see, we, we have one store procedure that will going to insert the data into population data, which accept two pair, three parameter country, year, and total population. And this is how our data table looks. Fine. Now, let me drag and drop HTTP listener component into the canvas. Let me configure it. I will say connector configuration. Click on this add button. Keep all setting as a default. Say OK. Say DB and allow method. I will say post. Okay. Now next thing, I will drag and drop database connector into the canvas message processor region. I will start configuring it under connector configuration. Click on add button. We are going to use Microsoft SQL database. So use generic database configuration. I have a connection string with me like server name, port, database name, username and password. I will copy it. I will paste it here in the URL. Next thing, I will copy the driver. So you have to give a driver name also. Say test connection. If everything is fine, it will say test connection. OK. I will say OK. So what we will do, we will use store procedure. Let me maximize bit. Okay, so what we have to do, let me copy the store procedure name and we have a three parameter country year and total population. So copy it, go there, so put curly bracket, say call, paste the store procedure name, then bracket, then put country, wait, country, then comma, year, comma, total. Population, just close it, curly bracket, okay? So, okay, so we can do like that. Now, next thing, we have done our store procedure part. Now, we have to do the mapping. So, let me show you the input message. This is the input message. This is JSON input message, which contains three will country, EN, total population. So, what you can do, just you add the parameter, three parameter, one, two, three, the first parameter will be country okay we can map country like that json country i can say year has json year total population That is fine. Now, let me minimize again. Let me reduce. Let's wait. Fine. Now, next thing, what I will do, I will say set payload. Here, I will say. Sorry data 
inserted right so i okay if we have done with the flow i will show you how we can introduce the rollback exception strategy let me go step by step so okay so let me put the some different country name i will say uk let's see if application has been deployed application deployed i will send the message okay data inserted we will cross verify in the table we have a two entry now let me check data has been inserted in the database now i will go to show you what is what can be the problem i have stopped the sql server i will going to stop a sql server okay your sql server has been stopped now instead of uk i will use some different country name i will say u sa fine and i will try to send the message so if you see it is not connecting it will give error so what is the error we will going to see that okay let's wait we keep eye on the console also it taking a lot of time it will take a time because there is some connection time out okay it it got suspect it got a, like a, it got a exception yes you can see can cannot get connection for the gdbc driver let me start the application again so you know the your application has been stopped for some few seconds but you don't know like what is the problem in case if you want to roll back so what you can do you can use roll back exception strategy in error handling okay so under roll back what you can do you can define logger here and say transaction or either you can also set payload transaction roll back here i just use the logger you can use like uh, you know various delete statement anything and i will say set payload it is just i am passing the message i am just showing the concept like how you can do that transaction roll back let me save it what is the status now sql server is running let me check the console application has been uh, has been deployed now first i will test with happy flow then we will check with exception flow data has been inserted let me cross verify okay yeah. it will it will not give error just wait because uh, let me press f5 once again okay data has been inserted successfully okay now let me do other thing like uh, let me stop the sql server again okay i will change the country name there instead of us i put some different country name okay uh, let me wait uh, let's wait uh, some network problem is there so give me some time okay we will do it uh, we will give some different country name here so let me uh, we can give like um, uh, we can give a netherlands i will try to send the message this time it should fail because our sql server has been stopped but this time it will go into the rollback transaction a rollback exception strategy okay if you check here it will say transaction roll back right your transaction has been roll back now i will going to show you one more thing we have something called read delivery exhausted go there you know here i just use logger you can use the various statement like delete from the sql server delete from that oracle server like that okay not a issue here i will say read delivery attempt 5 and i will say logger i will say read delivery exhausted okay now let me start my sql server once again okay now i will try to post the message
Okay, the data has been inserted. Now, okay, you can see another line. Now, what I will do? I again stop the SQL Server. I will say Spain. Okay, I will say send. This time it should. Okay, the problem with message itself. I haven't put the code. Let me put this. Okay, let's wait. Anyway, it will get filled because I haven't put the double quotes. Okay, let me send it once again. Oh, I forget to save all also. Let me save all. It will deploy the application again. Let me stop and enable the application. The application has been deployed, but your SQL server is still stopped. Let me send the message. It will retry for five times this time. Okay, you can see like uh, this is the error what we got. Okay. Fine. Now what? I will show you some other demo. And same thing. Now I will increase my retry count. First, let me start the SQL Server. Now I will increase my retry count. I will say 20. I will save the application. Let me press F5. Uh, Spain has been not inserted. Now I will going to send the message again. First we will test with happy flow. Data inserted. I will check the SQL server also. Spain is there. Now I will stop the SQL server. Instead of Spain, I will use I say Russia. Now our application has been, our SQL server is stopped. But we have a retry till 20 send. Still we haven't got any response. See, we cannot see here. I will start my SQL server quickly. You, you, you will see like, you will get a response now. Data inserted. Because I started the SQL server, internally the rollback exception strategy will keep on retrying. So till, you know, retrying threshold doesn't complete it. So now your data has been inserted, Russia 1. See Russia. So this is why it has been inserted because we have a retry count till 20. Till 20 it will retry. So initially I mentioned sometimes what happened like SQL server or anything like uh, mess, any, you know, like uh, server, uh, Oracle database, the connection goes for some few seconds and it, it comes back. In that case, you have to be keep on retrying. You should not like uh, directly, you know, suspend or, you know, like uh, uh, that you don't allow your message to go into the exception. Okay. This is how you can use the rollback transaction strategy with Mule ESB. If you like my video, just subscribe to it. Subscribe to it. Thanks for watching.